Thank you very much for joining us here at Parliament and uh, we are still here in the room where the Public Accounts Committee has been sitting and uh, as you've rightly said, uh, the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of uh, Health, Dr. Dana Twine, has been handed over to the CID here at Parliament to go and record a statement over what the committee members are calling misappropriation, diversion of, uh, of uh, public uh, resources. But joining me on set is Honorable Tony. Uh, you're one of the committee members and the member of parliament for Kwania County. That is in, uh, uh, in, a, in a Kwania district, the new Kwania district. Honorable, what has led you as the committee members to send Dr. Dana Twine to CID? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, as a committee uh, of accountability, you know, our main responsibility is to see that uh, while parliament pass the budget, ministries, agencies, and departments of government are supposed to provide the work plan upon which the budget is passed and approved. So when they're implementing the budget, they're supposed to follow the work plan, what they had actually told parliament and government that they would implement. So we provide money for that. Now, in the case of the PS of Ministry of Health, uh, we realized that in the financial year 2016-2017, there is what we would call diversion or in accounting we call mischarge, where we have given you money to buy maybe a vehicle, a bus, uh, medical equipment, but you end up using the money for, for paying for allowances, workshops, and travel abroad. When in the time of budgeting, you did not tell us that that's what you want the money for. So it's like you do parliament and government that give us money for doing the following health activities and programs in promoting health service. But once you get the money, then you go and develop your own programs and start spending money on it. So with that, we think you are undermining the budgeting process of parliament. And as the, the parliament responsible for appropriation, we think you would actually be out of order. And actually, the Public Finance and Management Act does not allow you to divert money because it's only parliament that have got the powers to appropriate money. If you want to change then you have to come back to Parliament and we do a supplementary for you to pick money from other programs to do the program that you think it is critical, urgent, and we need to provide money for. So in financial year 2016-17, 1.77 billion was mischarged, or you'd call it diverted by the Minister of Finance without authority. Then again in financial year 2017-2018, it moved from 1.7, now this year it was 4.8 billion. Now, our concern why we sent the, the, the PS to CID is to find out what exactly did you use that money for that you left the critical thing you had planned for at the beginning of the financial year and you diverted the money to do another thing. So we want the CID to get into details, those facts, because we cannot do it from here. Mm -hmm. Now, once those details are got, because you can say we use the money for buying a vehicle, the CID must now go and find out if at all you actually spent the money on buying the vehicle plus other things. And it's too total, like this financial year, it's too total to 4.8 billion. Then the one for the previous financial year, too total to 1.7 billion. Then we can now come back here and sit and see how to proceed about it. The Ministry of Health has been coming out to say that they don't have money. The appropriations that, that you're making as parliament are not enough to sustain all the activities that they are supposed to undertake in a financial year. Do you agree with this or these, some diversions that lead to this crisis in the ministry? Now, first of all, we, we have to cut the cloth according to the size of the body. The, the body. Now, the Ministry of Health must plan and we put the money in critical things that they think can help us move forward, even when the money is not enough, because every ministry will say, we needed this amount of money, but money is not enough. But now let me ask you, we have in this financial year, the money that was unspent by the Ministry of Health, 3.6 billion shillings. And, and this is why we are getting more concerned. You are saying you don't have, a, we have not provided you with enough money. But even when we have not provided you with enough money, how do you again, at the end of the financial year, have money provided to you by government to the tune of 3.6 billion shillings you have not spent? Now, which money would you want? That's why we are saying plan properly, budget properly, and deal with the things that you can do. So that this money you have not spent for 3.6 billion. That means other activities that you are saying we have not provided you money for, that money would go to handle such a thing. 
So we want people to be organized as parliament. Otherwise, you don't sit there, you do uh, uh, budgeting in a rush, you do the work plan in a rush, then you still say you want more money when you are not actually planning to do the right thing, even with the little money that we have. Okay. We also understand that this part of this money that was diverted was meant to rehabilitate Kayonga Refar Hospital. What, because uh, I think some, some two months ago I went to Kayonga Hospital and it was in a very dire state. What do you have to say about this? Yeah, because now that's why, as Parliament, we're saying no. You had a plan to rehabilitate health centers and hospitals, and which is critical. And uh, when people see and think government is not doing much. Now you came to us that this time the following health centers must be rehabilitated, including that of Kayonga. Then as Parliament, we get convinced and provide you money to go and do it. But at the end of the day, when you come back to us, we realize that even money that was meant for such activities, you have ignored them. And it's like a committee right there handed over um, the Health Ministry Permanent Secretary Dana Atwini to police to explain the misappropriation of 4.8 billion Uganda shillings that was meant for the construction of a surgical center in, at, uh, in Kayunga Hospital right there. We shall continue to keep tabs on that story and give you more details as they continue.